What does it take to make us more? To push beyond preconceived limits? To truly give everything for our family? For young brothers Noah and Lucas Aldrich, the answer is as complex as it is simple. The answer is love. We have a family of four, two boys. Noah is nine, Lucas is seven, and we just have a, a really active, fun family. Lucas was born um, October 28, 2007. Um, when he was born, we knew nothing was wrong with him. It was a normal birth. I had this vision of Noah and Lucas growing up like my brother and I did, playing all together in sports, games, and having this close relationship. In about three months or so, um, we started crying all the time. And we suspected something was wrong, but we thought perhaps he just had colic. So um, in order to just rule out anything, we did a series of tests, medical tests, and the doctor's office called us on a Monday and had us come in. And I'll never forget it. He, he pulled up a picture on the screen of an MRI and it showed his brain. And, and at that point we knew it was pretty serious. So where uh, most children have folds in their brain, Lucas has more of a smooth brain. No, that's the worst case scenario diagnosis. I could even fathom and to have those dreams of my two boys shatter at that moment was, uh, you know, the most devastating thing that's happened in my life. Brian and Alyssa took Lucas to a world-renowned neurologist in Chicago and began to get answers about Lucas's condition. He gave us a prognosis that there was a 50-50 chance that he would make it to 10. They would probably have seizures, um, that he would have a feeding tube, that he'd never walk, he'd never talk. And he said, you really have two choices to make here. You can either go home, keep Lucas safe, you know, keep him in a contained environment away from germs um, at home, and you can really extend his life. The other option is you can take him home and do everything that you can in life to experience life. So we really, at that point, made that decision to kind of have a, a family motto of living life to the fullest and making the most of our life with him, no matter the circumstances. The Aldriches took their new philosophy to heart and exposed Lucas to everything from adaptive skiing to Disney World. But their next adventure was unexpected and bold, even for them. The director of the local YMCA suggested the boys join the youth triathlon team. Within two days, somebody gave us um, a video of these two boys in Tennessee that compete in triathlons together. Noah watched that video and he turned to me and he said, Mom, I want to do that with Lucas. And that's when we met Willie. Challenged Athletes Foundation spokesman Willie Stewart lost his arm at age 18 while working construction at the Watergate Hotel. Willie encouraged the boys and worked with them and their parents to make their triathlon dream a reality. When I first met Lucas and Noah, I kind of felt like they were one. They were one, they're like one athlete. You know, there's two, they're the way they work together. They communicate well with one another. And they have a special language, a language that uh, none of us may understand, but I can tell in, in Lucas's smile that they communicate well. Come on, Luke. Come on. Well, Lucas can't do sports and stuff, so when we do this, he can pretty much do sports too. I think Lucas likes it because he's always smiling. If you get to see these kids, there's a lot of power and love. There's a lot of power and love, and they've got it. And you can climb mountains with that power and that passion. I love Lucas. Lucas and Noah are blazing a trail for other kids facing severe challenges. Along the way, they're creating a lifetime of memories for their family. Just because you have a child that has a life-limiting diagnosis or a life-threatening illness doesn't mean that you have to stay at home. You don't have to, um, you know, stay in a box and, and stay safe. You can go out, you can live your life, you know, 
is it always easy? No, it, you know, there's a lot of challenges and it takes a lot of work, but is it worth it? Absolutely. You know, we'll be able to look back on this time and think, wow, look what we accomplished. Look at what we did with that little guy. And uh, just, just a great family moment. Over the past three decades, Willie has seen a lot of progress in the way people with disabilities are viewed and respected. To him, Lucas and Noah represent another important link in the chain. So 35 years ago, it was like I was broken. Today, if that happened to me, and I walked out of the hospital with my cool new mountain bike arm and the opportunities are available to you, or my kayak arm, or my road bike arm, they're cool. And that's a thing that CAF has done, is made it possible for people to see what's possible. Because they took the kids that tended to be pushed and marginalized on the sideline, and they put them in the spotlight. And then they put them in the spotlight, and you know what happened? We all became better. I love Lucas.